Alors, bonjour, nous avons un Renault aujourd'hui. Excusez-moi, je dois finir mon croissant. Renault Megane 1.4 16 valves and yes I'm going to say Renault Megane because my French is très joli. Here we have a 2002 Megane and just look at it. This car is almost 15 years old. The controversial styling of the body was the big selling point of this car. You either loved it or hated it. I love it since the very first day I saw it on the road. However, time and daily use have left some scars and bruises. <coughs> The construction quality and trim standards were very low with Renault or Renault or whatever in the early 2000s. Aside from the visible wear and tear, mind you, this one only has 140,000 kilometers on the clock. When you drive it, everything rattles and bangs all over the place if the road surface isn't as smooth as a banana peel and the soundproofing and the electronics are also eh, below class standards the story is not much better in the buttons and knobs department everything you turn and press feels a bit fragile but props for the layout and design which are surprisingly very creative and well laid out. Speaking of design, there is an aesthetic touch that I love more than I should. The handbrake lever is styled in this way that looks like an airplane controller thing, wherever I don't really know how they are called in English. This is a really cool touch and a rather cool car. The only problem is that style trumps function with this. Because the mechanism is shorter or something, I don't know, you have to pull the lever really hard to hold the brakes and many people would find their Megans wouldn't be quite where they left them after a while. Then we get to the driving. Oh, but first starting the engine. You don't get a key. You have this artifact which looks like an engorged credit card and you put it in this slot. You have to hold the brake pedal and for some reason and then press start and you're ready to drive. Oh the driving. It's really, really not as bad as you might think. So first thing you notice when you drive this car is that it's really really very pleasing I mean of course the engine is not very powerful and it doesn't have a lot of torque but if you had to drive this every day yeah it's great it doesn't punch too hard the, the acceleration is smooth and the brakes the brakes are really good they are really sharp if you're not used to um, having for these brakes with uh, ABS, um, I would recommend uh, care when you drive this car for the first time, but you get used to it really fast and it's really safe. Uh, another point of this car's, uh, of this car's launching was the, the safety. It was uh, the first car of its class to have uh, five stars in the uh, Euro and Cup. I think um, they've tested it in Top Gear. Uh, with the guy actually sitting inside the car and having the airbag blown over his face. Um, in fact, 
he was he was quite scared so um, the steering is very responsive um, it's not too light it's not too heavy uh, it feels very very realistic because it is not um, an electronic steering uh, it's a hydraulic uh, steering assist so um, it's really um, it feels it feels really good uh, the throttle response is also spot on the gearbox is really really good um, it's a bit uh, rougher than you might expect in a, in a Renault but um, yeah it gets the job done uh, the gears go in really easy and it's also very well positioned you have this armrest and uh, the gearbox is really in the right place you don't have to do a lot of effort to keep the gears going. Uh, the air conditioning is also, is also very good. It's really it's really um, up to class. Uh, it could be in a bigger car or in a more expensive car. And now the thing I like the most in the Megane, the comfort. You can be a driver or passenger for mile after mile in this and never feel tired. There is generous room for four adults. Dare I say it, the only cars I think can rival this for comfort and space are much more expensive and usually carry a Mercedes-Benz badge. All the storage spaces and compartments are very generous and perfect for daily use with a small family. If that's your thing, of course. <laughs> so, should you buy a Renault Megane with the 1.4 petrol engine? It depends on what you want from it. If you travel less than 10,000 km per year and you don't care too much about speed or fuel economy and you want a small, comfortable car, you should consider this. If you travel a lot and you need more power and torque, go for a diesel. Although the time being, mm, I wouldn't recommend that. Not really. <laughs>